Hey guys, it is Canadagraphs here and this is a second set video uh, for the Supergirl Season 6 and Series Finale, uh, Episode 620. The uh, shoot from this was a couple weeks ago and they were in downtown Vancouver in an area named Coal Harbor. <clears throat> They've used it a couple other times. Uh, they were just down the street from where they were last year for the finale that never aired. Um, this time they had almost everybody you could think of was on set in their superhero costume throughout the day. In this scene you can see uh, Kyler Lee, Azzy Tesfai, and Nicole Maines there along with the stand-in for uh, um, Martian Manhunter. Um, Melissa Benoist uh, was in some of the scenes, but there's a couple of the times where uh, her double was also in the um, outfit. Uh, clearly for scenes where she's not being, her face isn't being focused on, but uh, obviously some of them she is in it like these. <clears throat> there are others that are on set, like um, you'll see in moments there'll be, uh, Jesse Rath will be there, uh, Julie Gonzalo, uh, Katie McGraw. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, I'm sure I'll remember when I see them pop up on screen, I'll be like, oh yeah, them too. But pretty much everyone you could think of was on set for this scene. Um, they filmed, they filmed for two days in this area. On the Friday, they filmed with the primary actors like you're seeing right now. And then on the Saturday, they filmed with the stunt team doing stuff. Um, and then they also reversed it on the other way. Um, there was some scenes with the villains later that had the stunt team. But then on Saturday, they had the actors uh, shooting it. Oh, um, Helen Slater was also on set, but I don't have video in this package of her. That will be in the uh, package for the last set. I was gonna put it all in one, but then I realized this video is already getting pretty long, so I didn't want to do a 15-minute video. Oh, there's Jesse Rast running. As I said, he would be in in he was in this uh, scene. So this is a stunt they did with um, uh, the two Guardians. Um, oh yeah, I guess um, Guardian was on set. Guardian 1.0 was on set. Obviously, with Guardian 2.0 there. Um, but it wasn't McCod Brooks. McCod Brooks was not on set on this day. It was just the double. So they did this stunt uh, a few times. Uh, they eventually did it with a fireball in the background exploding. Um, I have still photos of that, but I don't have any video. I, I don't think I did video of that. I think I missed the video of that. I guess I'll find out in a second if it shows up here or not. <clears throat> but I don't think I did it. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, so here's uh, Katie McGraw doing a scene. She's running out of the street, and it's um, just her there. I don't know what this scene is supposed to be, but um, here's the big fireball scene. So I did, I did, I guess, get part of it. I don't know if I got the jump part. I'll see in a second here. I think I might have. Yeah, I guess I did, because he's going to run over, go stand on the ground, and then she's going to come and do the running jump thing. There it is, yeah. So that was the stunt they worked on there. Um, so, yeah, there was some stunt work going on just around the corner from where the main scene was. This guy was uh, supposed to be a stand-in for Metallo. Um, he's doing that Metallo-like thing. I don't know how you describe that, but it was, it was kind of weird to watch. Um, I mean, they have to have somebody do it, obviously, but uh, yeah. It's it's a very weird thing to see in person. You can see in the background there on the uh, sign just above that chair, there's a Noonan's coffee sign. I I just assumed it was just a basic generic coffee place that they'd uh, put a name up of in the uh, thing. But someone had told me that's like a regular coffee place they use on the show. So here you can see some of the others. You can see um, Chris Wood there and someone hiding under Chris Wood's cape. Uh, that, by the way, was Jeremy Jordan. Um... I don't know why he was doing it. I still don't to this day. <laughs> um, they they had a they spent a lot of time hanging out together. Um, so there uh, in the background, you can see Guardian with uh, 
Sentinel. And if you uh, notice off to the right, you see two people standing there, a guy with a gun, and then beside them, you can just see part of Helen Slater holding a gun. Um, I didn't really notice them there until long, long after the fact. Like, I didn't notice when I was shooting it. I noticed it in uh, after the fact, so I never focused on them while they were there. Here's a scene Kyler does as Sentinel with a gun. She is shooting, uh, what was the guy's name? Oh, I remember vividly hearing the uh, villain's name that she's shooting at. But uh, there was some dialogue in the scene which uh, comes, I mean, maybe in the context of the scene it'll sound more clever but it sounded extremely corny in the in the actual filming of it um she's like something like uh she's you see her duck there and then um whatever this thing was that was trying to attack her like swipes at her and she uh um, says something like no touching without consent and like you could hear everybody up on the balcony there just kind of like half half chuckling trying to be quiet because you need to be quiet on set but like every everybody up there was kind of just like did they did they really make her say that like you know cw writing sometimes is a little too it's a little too cw <laughs> but this is the scene she's doing she'll duck and then she will uh that, that's her saying it right there. And then um, she she shoots right at whatever the thing is. I wish I could remember what it was. Anyways, that's the end of this video. And, uh, here now will be some set photos for uh, that set that you can find on my blog. I have over a hundred photos from this uh, location uh, in my blog. So obviously nowhere near all of them are here. Um, so that'll be linked in the description below and you can find the rest of them there. Here you see Katie McGrath is uh, running in a scene, and this is in between takes. Uh, she uh, is distracted by a dog, and I do not blame her. This dog is adorable, and uh, it was um, just wandering around the set for a little bit. I don't know who owned it. I don't know if it was someone on the crew or not, but uh, when I was looking at my photos later, I noticed that the dog had been there for a while, so... I don't know what the story was with this dog. There's uh, Chris Wood and Melissa Benoist, uh, husband and wife, high-fiving each other before a scene. And then there they are in the scene. And this is the whole group. You can see the two guardians on the end with Sentinel and Martian Manhunter in the middle on the far end. You can see uh, uh, Brainy, Nia, and uh, Akrata were down there. Here's a bunch of them pointing at something and don't know why. This is Melissa dancing? Yeah, we'll go with dancing. <laughs> Here she is uh, talking with Katie in between takes uh, while Chris is in the background there. And um, they uh, look excited to be uh, like on their last day of work. And um, there's uh, David Harewood in the far side kind of looking around like what's going on. Here's Melissa and Nicole hugging while Jeremy Jordan just stands there. There's uh, Jeremy Jordan still standing and uh, Nicole still standing there. There is the two guardians. Uh, it is not Makad Brooks. Makad did not shoot this set. That was his double, but it is as he test by. As uh, Guardian uh, 2.0 is definitely there. Um, there is David Harewood in his last day on set in the Martian Manhunter outfit with Melissa. This is Helen Slater. Um, she was also there that day. Uh, there is uh, Danson. Uh, in between scenes, getting ready to shoot a scene, there is um, Akrata and Lena in between a scene. This guy in the camo was also in the scene with Helen Slater. They were both holding big guns in the scene. I don't know uh, who he is yet. There's Brainy with a whole bunch of the others behind him. There's uh, Kyler and David uh, walking together in between takes. There's Kyler. This was the last shot that one um, I told you with the funny corny line that she had, I think, uh, was going on at that time. Uh, they're, I, I'm, they're going by faster than I can even keep up with them. Sorry. Um, usually I, I track these at anywhere from 7 to 10 seconds each. This time I cut them down to about 4 seconds because I knew there was so many this video would go on for like 15 minutes if I did put them all up for as long as usual. So, sorry about that. This is the scene. This is the scene where Kyler is uh, shooting at that thing at the end that I told you about with the funny corny line. 
and that's it for this video. That is also, um, it's the second to last video I have of super, of, of uh, original Supergirl content. I, if I have more, it's hidden somewhere in my database of stuff, and I might stumble across it in a year or two and not remember. But for now, that is the end of this video. I have one more left. That'll be out in the next anywhere from week to month. I don't know when. Check for it then. Um, after that, I won't have anything new. But if you want to see that one, uh, I'd say uh, subscribe and make sure you uh, check it out when it comes out. Uh, thanks and bye.